Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Ms. Linda. We're going to solve a um, question from paper one, uh, past uh, paper's exam, uh, about uh, falling objects. The question says, we have a ball falls from rest in the absence of a resistance. The position of the center of the ball is determined at one second intervals from the instant at which it's released. What are the distances in meters traveled by the center of the ball during each second for the first four seconds of the motion? OK, so if we draw the motion of the ball at T seconds, the ball was here. And then the ball, its velocity, the initial zero. When it falls, its velocity starts to increase till it reach maximum velocity just before it hit the ground. Now I need to find delta x, the distance each second, which means delta x1, what is it? Delta x2, delta x3, and delta x4. So I'm going to use the equation of motion, delta. Here I have motion y direction, so I can use delta y or delta x. Delta here, we're supposed to use delta y, not delta x. So delta y. Okay. Here, this is delta y1, delta y2. And delta y3, delta y4. So delta y will equal v initial u or v initial times t plus half acceleration due to gravity t square. V initial is zero. So delta y will equal motion in <clears throat> down is negative. So gravity. It's negative 9.81 meter per second square. For simplicity, we'll take it negative 10 meter per second square. But I'm not going to put a negative sign, but we know it should be negative to indicate the direction is downward. So it will be half times 10 is 5. T at T, the first one, T one second. So times one square, it will give me 5 meter. So this is the first one. Delta Y1 is 5 meter. Now I need this distance from here till here. Delta Y2. From here till here. OK. I will start the motion from, from up there. So from up there till here, I need to find delta Y. This, this one, how much? So delta y, the initial start zero, half times g, five, t now is two second. So t is two second now. So two square, this will give me five times uh, four, 20 meter, 20 meter. 20. So the distance from here till here, all of this distance, 20 meter. But I don't need all of the distance from the beginning. I just need the distance for each time interval, which means this one here, this distance. So it will be the total distance 20 minus this distance from here till here 5. It will give me delta y2. So this one, it will be 20 minus 5. So delta y2, it will be 20 minus 5 to give me 15 meter. Now at t equals 3 second. t equals a 3 second. Same thing. Delta y. Delta y, I'm, gonna, I'm going to calculate the distance from here, from the beginning, all the way till here, all of this distance. OK? So delta y will be half times 10, it's 
uh, it will be five, five times three squared, five times nine, it will give me 45 meter. So the whole distance from here to here is 45, but I don't want the whole distance. I want that distance dealt this one here. From here till here, delta y three. So it will be the total distance, which is 45, all of this, 45 meter, minus, minus this distance, 20, minus the 20. So 45, this will be 45 minus the 20. So delta y, three, 45, minus 20, it will give me 25. Now the last thing after t equals 4 seconds, same thing, I have to find the whole distance. Now, from here all the way, let's just clean this one up a little bit. All of this one. How much? This one. So it will be delta i will equal five times four square. Five times uh, sixteen. It's gonna give me eighty meter. I need delta y four. I need this distance from here till here. Delta y for how much? So the total distance, which is 80, all of this distance, minus, minus this distance here, minus this one. So it will be 45, but will be 80, minus 45, it will give me 35. So I have five, I have 15, 25 and 35. So the correct answer will be B. This will be the correct answer. 5, 15, 25, 35.